Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Top 5 in 5. Today we are talking about the top five things you should do to get in shape. Yeah, you probably heard a bunch of things, right? Let's be honest, a lot out there. You may not know this. I used to own a gym for a decade. I kind of know this world of fitness and health. On top of that, I played in the NFL, a whole bunch of weird stuff. But let's be honest, we all get a little fat sometimes. I did. You know, A, hey, in 2020, at the end of it, I was 250 pounds. My wife made fun of me. She didn't want to touch me. I was dense, man. It didn't feel good. And I'm telling you things that I knew from before and what I'm doing right now. So it's a big thing. Like, it's okay to be a little bit chunky. We got to take care of this. Or to get to an extra level, man. And I'm not saying you got to be super slick, six-pack abs and puking in your workouts. This is what you can do to get in better shape, and it's super simple. The first thing, stop eating trash. Let's be honest, like you eat trash. I eat, I eat some bad stuff sometimes too. The faster you can clean up your diet, the easier everything becomes. Then you don't gain as many calories, you're not lethargic, the workout's a little bit easier. I'm telling you, one of the biggest things that people do, man, is they just eat garbage all day long. You got to control what you eat. Yes, you've heard before. And you're going to say, Ant, what kind of diet should I use? The one where you don't eat the trash you're eating. That's the one. You get the diet that you know you should be eating. If you go to the store right now, you know the things you shouldn't buy and the things you should buy. Buy more of what you should. Second thing, stop doing easy workouts. You know what I like? I don't like when people go, Ant, man, I'm out there getting the workout. I'm doing all these crazy hard workouts. I own a gym. I heard it all the time. And I say, let me see your workout. Guess what it was? My warm-up. That's not a workout. Kelly, just because you went outside and watched a dog around the block, that is not your workout. Damn it. Go and actually sweat a little bit. Like, make your heart rate rise a little bit. If you don't get to the point of being tired, that's not an actual workout. So find a way to stop doing easy workouts. Third thing, stop buying stuff you don't need. Why, why is it that I go to people's houses, you've been there, and you go in the garage, you see a really expensive clothes hanger. You know what this is? A treadmill or a bike, right? Everybody got them in their house. No one uses them. Why? Because you don't like riding it. You don't like running. So why did you buy that thing, right? If it's a pair of shoes to go running, go buy shoes at first. If it's a gym membership, use that thing. But don't buy stuff because it looks cool on the, on the internet or on some infomercial at three o'clock at night when you're probably not supposed to eat that trash you're eating. That's point number one. Make sure you go and use the things you buy. Stop buying things that are all of a sudden going to take up space in the house. Then this is going to be an interesting one, number four. Stop going too hard in the workouts for too long. There is such a thing as getting injured. This happens. You are not 20 years old anymore. Maybe you are 20 years old, but you're not 15. Your body isn't, isn't invincible. I'm telling you, man, you got to take care of this thing. As much as I train hard, you got to make sure you leave room to recover, leave room to rest. So if you spend some time hitting the weights or hitting the gym or running, whatever it is, man, He's up a little bit. Like, it's not a race. Maybe it is a race, but it's not a race, right? You're going to be okay. You're going to live. And here's a cool thing. If you learn how to let your body recover in between, you can do harder workouts, recover faster, be stronger, get in better shape, burn more calories. All the fun stuff takes place. So you got to get to the point where you stop just going crazy. And here's the last one. And this one, I'm going to pause for a second. I need you to hear this one. You ready? Here's what it is. Stop making excuses. Man. I, I can't stand that there's a person that, there's multiple people that do this. I want to get in better shape. I want to feel great, but, no, but, your butt's big. You know what I'm talking about, your butt's big. Stop making your butts so big that you don't get into the actual moment, right? The physical butt's big, but your reason, your excuse gets so big, you don't take action. Now, from a compassionate heart, like, I care about people I get to work with, but I don't do well with the excuses because the truth is you got to choose what's bigger your desire to be in a better place and better shape or desire to make an excuse and feel comfortable in your day but then feel horrible about yourself later on at night so i'm telling you stop making excuses if you go looking for an excuse you'll always find it but here's the crazy thing if you go looking for a solution Guess what you also find? Damn it, a solution. So go and find more solutions than excuses. So you're saying, I, I don't know where to start, Anthony. I have no trainer. I have an action dentist. That's great. Those people exist. They want you to go and hire them, right? But Anthony, I have no experience working out. Guess he solved that problem. You start working out and you get experience. And I don't know what equipment to buy. Guess what? There's a lot of people on the internet trying to sell you stuff. Find one that fits. Ask a friend, whatever it might be. And what kind of diet do I go to? I already told you that. 
stop asking that question. And no, that's not a good excuse. Go to the store, buy the things you know are healthy. That's simple. These are the top five things you can do right now to get your butt back in better shape and enjoy this crazy thing we call life. And I can't wait for you to do it. So make sure you uh, you share this, you like this, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Till next time, I'm out. <laughs>